Uh, hey everyone, uh, this video is going to be a part one of two. I originally wanted to do this video all in one uh, hit, but as you'll see through this video, things change. So I reckon, you know, the advice if you're gonna do tackle this job is don't make any set plans, take it easy, go slow and uh, think things through and uh, it'll come together. So what I've had to do here is I've hurt myself quite badly. So I'll put out this video of where I'm up to now. I'm halfway through the uh, pieces test fitted in, but uh, I can't continue now because maybe six weeks ago, I hurt my back quite badly and total of 11 days in hospital, surgery, so it hasn't gone well. So I've had to have a discectomy, so I've had a disc taken out of my back and that's gonna take anywhere from six to 12 weeks to heal where I can't bend, twist, lift, work. I can't do anything, can't even do my normal job. I'm just stuck at home in bed watching TV, catching up on uh, YouTube videos. But, yeah, so, when I'm healed and ready to go, I will get back into part two of working on this. But, as of this stage, I can't do anything. So, I can show you a quick look at what I've actually, I'm actually up to on it. So if we have a look, I do have the piece clamped on, almost ready to weld in. Uh, there's a few little minor adjustments that need doing. Uh, underneath there needs to be cleaned, the metal cleaned up. Bit of uh, massaging of the actual panel itself but it actually does doesn't go in too bad so that's what's going on here with me uh, I'm very stiff and very sore but it is what it is and you only get one back in life so you got to look after it so that's what I'm planning to do and we'll get to the video now and uh, hope you enjoy and uh, we'll see you back again soon. Ciao, ciao. Starting over on the passenger side, it's almost gone all the way through there and that was just filled with filler. So. It's had a repair at some stage in its life. There's an added on section here. That, but if you look at that channel there, no good. So I've done some uh, grinding off the paint and filler. And this is the worst side over here. We'll just keep it out of shot for a second. There's the other side of the uh, filler panel and the bad bit is here in the C pillar for the roof not good so I'm gonna have to cut part of that out cut part of the quarter out and it appears that some of the structure has rusted as well so we're going to have to go through and do some layers. Am I equipped to do this? Who knows? I don't know. But I don't like the look of that. So we won't know until we slice that off. So I'm going to cut, let's cut all that and try and remake that. I think it's all good here no good here 
So it is what it is. I think I will attempt to try and repair that first before we start cutting this out because I think if we cut that and that, we're gonna lose structure and we'll have to weld in support beams and stuff. But I'll probably have to do that anyway. I'll probably have to go a beam from the top to the parcel shelf just in case so it doesn't move. But that's what we're looking at next is rust repair on the roof. If anybody has any ideas, don't be afraid to comment. I would love to hear them because I have never tackled anything this severe before. So if you could uh, drop some comments, that'd be good. And uh, we'll see you when we get started. We've got to get, detach all of this hinges, all of that kind of stuff has to be detached. It's not just cut the piece out and she'll be right, mate. It's a fair bit of complexity to it. And from what I can see as well is that somehow it all blends into the parcel shelf. So I don't know how that works. Nope. There's a lip there. There you go. You learn something new every day. But anyway, we're waiting for that tool to come. Once that spot weld drill tool comes, we'll start some more work. Until then. Hey, me again. Uh, I've been scraping this carpet off and I get to this side and I found a Shocking surprise. I bet you can't guess what it is, but let's have a look. If you look down in this corner here, right there, what is that you say? That is a cricket box slash protector. Why the hell is that thing in here? Look at this. What does that say? Hunt. Wonder how long that thing's been in there. I don't want to touch that. Disgusting. Okay, guys, a bit of an update on how I've been going. Now, first things was I had to order some spot weld drill bits, so they took you know close to two weeks to come. So I couldn't really do much while waiting for that but uh, I've got a nice little kit there and that's all good now. So progress I've made is I've drilled out the spot welds on the, uh, the, the bottom lip of the window and that is off. So all the spot welds drilled out. Now, what I've learned as well, somebody definitely has been in here before me and there is a repair over this side. Now, you can see along here, it has been a patch welded in there. If you look from the back, you can see that as well, along here. So that definitely has had a section there. And then I think the problem with that was there was that much filler on it that it's, uh, re-rotted out so I don't know whether that lip there was factory or not I'm guessing by all the spot welds it probably was but I don't know and then if we get our replacement panel we put that over the top and we've got to work out how we're going to get that in I still need to think on how that goes. And then that goes like that. And that looks to be a pretty good fit sitting on top. Obviously it'll change when the other bit gets cut out, but I'm not sure with this lip here, 
do I grind that off and put that one back on or do we just stick with the new one? I don't know because I don't really know how it's going to attach from the back side. See that last piece was like a lip welded in along there and then the rear window lip came up from that. But this is totally different. So that's something that we have to work out. But when I figure out how to do it, you'll be the first to know. All right, back to work. Hey, we're back again. So what I've discovered now is there's a bracket here for the boot hinge that goes up underneath this panel here. So I've drilled out the welds on that. And then the same again on the other side. So again, bracket there, drilled out weld there. So I think I have a game plan on what to do now. It's welded underneath that to that, but that's not even welded. So that's just a gaping hole already, not to worry. Now, if we look in the boot, where the boot light is, there's some welds up along here that I'm gonna have to unpick. That's just attached to that, uh, that bit there, no biggie. And then that part should come free after we make an incision, incision line along here, all the way along. So we're gonna leave some metal on here that we can weld to after we're done. So what this piece, when it's on, I'll just quickly show you. See those tabs slide down in there. All good. We come from the back side. Now if we leave that little bit there, what we'll be able to do is drill holes along here and we can do some plug welding on there to attach it to this piece here so a bit higher than the factory one and then this lip here will end up being our rear window lip now it is miles too big so we will have to trim it probably at least five mil off all the way along I reckon so that's the game plan. So I think I'll do that first before we get onto that, or we'll do that while that's out. I don't know, still working on that bit, but we have a game plan for this and uh, we'll see how we go. Let's keep working. And we're back again. So what I've done is I've Pretty much think I found all the spot welds that join this together. So you've got both sides through the seams here, and you've got a bracket there that needs to be cut off. Not cut off, sorry, uh, drilled out. You've got a seam here where your, your boot light is. And then also above there, there's some tabs that need to be done. And then you've got the same on the other side. Bracket there and some there. Now, I've marked where I wanna cut it out. I'm gonna cut it up here because I want extra material there and I'll just chip away at that because there's a tab along there that I don't wanna cut into. And then you've got the boot hinge there as well. I don't wanna annoy that. And then I'm gonna cut it along here, along the old piece. There's a, like a body line in there. I'm gonna cut it long, because I don't wanna cut
cut two lights off and then I'm screwed. So we're gonna cut it long and then we'll trim it back as needed. And then once this is gone, we'll be able to test the other bead in, make sure exactly where we wanna put the new piece and then cut again up there. And then eventually I probably think we'll be trimming that back to that ridge there, but we're gonna go there and then it'll be welded through there. But it's time to do some cutting. All right, that uh, section is out. I missed one spot well, but we got that out and this is what we got left. So we'll cut those side pieces out very carefully and we'll go from there, eh? All right, so at this stage, this is about as much as I'm prepared to cut off. Now, when the test, the new fit, new panel on, there's a few mil different here, so I want to keep a little bit extra of this. There, it's okay. Here, he's probably three, four mil short, so we want to keep some of that. And if we go along, the other side fits pretty much well along that seam line there. So, we can probably chip away at most of that. We'll get that panel on, so we can have a look. So other than, we just need to bend that tab there so it sits down properly. That will go in there and that will be on. That will clamp up like that, that's good. Now I'll show you this side where it's a little short. So that tab lines up to go in there, but that cut there is a little short. So we need to leave some material on there. And again, bend that tab there. And we'll have a look at the back side. 
because I haven't even had a look at that yet. It will just trip over the grinder. If we just jump inside the car. And then the plan is to trim that back up there, probably on that ridge, and then we'll be able to weld it through there somewhere. It would also be handy to have some safety glasses that are actually safe. Like this lens just falls out all the bloody time. What's the point of that, huh? Ridiculous. Alrighty, so more, wo more work has been had. We've got all the old bits and bobs out that we don't need. This side is a pretty good fit, except there's just a little gap there. We're gonna have to make a little piece to fill that little corner there and be same on the other side. Now, it turns out I didn't need to leave that extra on because once it gets clamped down, it actually stretches back out and it will almost come to that exact line anyway. So boot, channel, rubber, finishing touches, you're not really going to notice. So there's a few issues, but overall fits pretty well. Like that channel there doesn't fit as well as the other side, but eh, what can you do? So once we get all that clamped down and everything, it'll be nice. So we still have to work out where we want to cut back in here. I believe I need to cut along here. Just cut it back along there. But before we even put that on, we have to repair that. We'll do that bit later. But I've also got to fix the previous repair that was on this side going down into here. So we'll cut that bit out, make a new section there, and then we'll put, and then we'll do the other side, and then we can put the filler piece back in. All right, let's keep working. And we're back for another day. Now I cut this rusty piece out of the parcel shelf, which went down and along here. So we've cut that out, we made a new piece and welded that in. Still needs a bit more grinding, but uh, I still need final fitment on the piece on here. And yes, I did make this bit with the lip, but it's probably going to get trimmed off. But I wanted to practice folding metal, that kind of stuff. So that's today's task done. Next one is this corner. Which is a bit more damaged than the last one, but yeah. same principle. We'll cut it down across there. Kind of where I've got that texture mark. We'll cut it along there. We'll make another one. And tack that in. Until then, let's keep working. Okay, we're back again, guys. I've had a, a long layoff with another bad back, which still is not 100% healed, but uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. So what I've done is I've made a new patch panel for here. And I saw this on another bloke's uh, video. That rusty boot is good for spare sheet metal. So just grind uh, the paint off and we're good to go. So that's gonna fit in there, just like that. So, I'm going to get that clamped in and uh, we'll buzz it in.
Okay, the trusty old stick welder has welded that in. Not too bad. It did blow a hole in there, but uh, at this stage we're still cutting that bit out, so that doesn't matter. It's nice and strong. Not going anywhere, so that's a good thing. Uh, I need to tap that little bit down there, it's a bit high, but uh, it's come up pretty nice. Alright, so what we're up to now is that bit's been welded in. I've zinc primed that. Now, I think I've had a change of plans on what I'm going to do, and this rear window lip that I originally uh, unpicked. I think I'm going to put that back in. I'm going to clean up all that rust, obviously, and we'll weld that back in along the spot welds that we uh, drilled out. And then I think uh, we'll cut this back to where that lip goes. And I'll just place it all on. It needs a little bit of a repair in that corner. But that's okay, we can do that. Uh, we line it up where the spot welds went, something like that. And weld that back on. And then we'll cut this back to that. And then uh, this lip on here, what I think we'll do is spot weld through there, back into that lip. And I think that's how we'll attach it. So plans have changed again, but that's okay. We haven't uh, set anything in stone and we'll get uh, this cleaned up. I have to grind back because it's very lumpy and bumpy from where I drilled so we need to get all the burrs and stuff off, we'll get all the rust off, we'll coat that in zinc so it don't rust again and I guess we'll start zapping it in. But before we do that I need to test whether the rear, the rear window rubber will fit over two pieces of steel. If that don't fit then we'll can this plan. I'm looking at the uh, old window rubber I've got here, that lip is huge, so there's no dramas about fitting uh, two bits of steel in there, that's huge. So, I would say at this stage, this is going to be the plan going forward. Let's get to work. Alrighty, I've jumped ahead a little bit here, I've uh, give that a whack on the hammer and dolly to try and get some shape, but uh, totally put it out of shape. So as we uh, weld it in, we'll get the shape right. So I have put three welds in it to hold it there, cut out that rusty section, and we'll uh, remake that with some uh, boot because that uh, is not going to hold any, hold any welds. It's just going to blow through and uh, there's no point keeping a hole there when it's meant to go there and continue to rust out. So we don't want that. But I did clean all the rust up and put some kill rust on that. So, and then uh, zinc primed it, which is weld through which is good so I think that now that that's nice and tight in there we'll make that piece and put it in there and we're back now jumping even further ahead here guys uh, I have welded in that whole channel there and made another extra piece for that because the was pretty crusty and rusty. Again, we're not gonna worry too much about that gap there because the replacement panel goes to the edge. Now, all I need to do on that is grind back the welds, which some are done, but others need to be done. 
and then we will trim off this back to that lip and then we can start putting on that replacement panel alrighty guys back at it again so we have got to the stage now where we need to trim off this lip right here back to that there so we can fit this here on here so we'll just zip 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 the whole way along and get that off all right i was went meant to record uh, cutting that piece off for you guys but uh, i forgot to hit record so there's that and there's this so that's cut back to the lip so we needed a bit of cleaning up there and stuff but here's that piece sitting on there there's a little bit of adjustment that we need to do I reckon we're probably going to need to bring that fold up just a touch to get what we want on the back of there because we want that to clamp onto that other one and then we'll trim it back to size. So I think we just need a little bit more angle on that and uh, we'll be good. So, sideways, it's not too bad fitment wise. And that missable clamp into there. And we'll go from there. Right, we'll keep marching on so what i'm about to do here is when we unpicked the last piece off this is uh pretty hacked up so i've made a little plate underneath and i'm going to weld to that to make it stronger from when we put the for when we put the replacement piece back on so we'll just uh, buzz that in and we're good to go from there <laughs> 